Hey, good morning everybody. It's Valerie Ling, clinical psychologist here. Continuing my authentic live stream series this week on the topic that is very close to my heart and that is burnout prevention. Yesterday I shared my first three R's that I was intentionally putting into place Monday after a very big working weekend and now I'd like to share with you the next R. I have six R's in my burnout prevention uh, routine for myself and I'm going to share my next R with you. Before I do that, I actually want to say um, that there is really no shame when you are feeling the signs of burnout. And that is because it is like dental plug in that it builds up every day. It builds up every day. I once had a harrowing experience with my dentist, which um, really got me to be very good in my dental hygiene, well, sort of, kind of, short, sort of. Um, when he said to me, Valerie, you put off your regular um, dental checkup for 18 months, and in that span of time, basically your teeth went from being okay to not in great shape. And he said, other than the daily routines, you actually need to have, make sure that you're coming in for your six monthly checks because that is, you know, the time when we look at when your teeth, when all the plug and everything builds up, that's actually when you need to come in to get all of that scaled off and cleaned so that your teeth have got the next season of, you know, uh, another six months to go. And since then, I have never missed a dentist appointment six months on the dot because I hadn't realized just how insidious the thing is. And that is the same with burnout. That's what happens. So it is a, a in daily intentional evaluation, particularly if you are in a helping profession it is or in a work situation where you know it's pretty demanding it is a daily evaluation why because when we go the distance it's a ripple on effect when we go the distance and we don't burn out our families have the gift of having us mindfully um, with them and our communities have the gift of having us continue to be a beacon of hope and our clients continue to benefit to to have that as well so here's my R my next R a really important one it's reconnect reconnect so when you are actually feeling exhausted and tired it's really tempting to just pull back from having any kind of connection with people. So what I want to say is that when you're actually in burnout prevention and, and putting up a resiliency posture for yourself, you've got to know who are the people you need to reconnect with and amp up the connection when you're actually um, thinking about not burning out and remaining resilient. So for me, this is an intentional thing this week. In fact, the week before my major weekend, I had already put in some appointments. Um, my bestie was actually going to meet me <laughs> at the place, but she uh, was unable to because something came up for her. But that was in the plan. Um, I had spoken to her some months back about whether or not we were going to do that. Um, the week before my big long lockdown weekend, I actually had a series of phone conversations, uh, WhatsApp conversations, Skype conversations, and in-person um, time with the people who are in my high connection list. Who are my high connection list? Number one, there has, there's one person who is a testament and a witness to the major parts of my life. So in other words, they have been, or they know Valerie. They don't know, they don't just know Valerie the psychologist, they don't just know Valerie the speaker, they don't just know Valerie who's lived in Australia for the, the last number of years. Um, I have a rather international background. Uh, but they are, they are the person who, who has known me through all the various roles and identities uh, and seasons of my life and they are the testament to really who I am. So they know me. So there's one person on that list. The next person on my list is my go-to. 
right I haven't known this person for very long but she's my mentor um, she's not my business coach she is my personal mentor and I haven't known her for very long but we have monthly connections uh, coffee chats as well as phone conversations and she knows my world inside out it is a gift to me to be able to go to that person and basically say hey here's a heads up um, I'm feeling okay right now, but I'm going into this intensive weekend. I just need to, to tell you what I'm thinking and feeling. When I come out of it, I'll touch base with you. So number two. And the third person is, uh, these two first two people can actually feel that, but the first person is who fills up your love tank, your love tank, who in your world. It doesn't have to be a family member. If you're a single person, it doesn't have to be a, a, a spouse, but who fills up your love tank? Where can you get that love relationship with? Now, I'm willing to put out there that that sometimes is not even a human being, right? But how, how do you get a sense really that you are accepted and that you are loved? loved and that you get some 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 really deep um, loving connection so three before three after so now it's really important for me uh, this week in recalibrating after my really heavy week to reconnect with those three people right this week to be honest I don't have the kind of time because of the, the long weekend and, um, and, and and all that's coming up to see each of those people but I shifted my schedule today to actually be able to reconnect with one of those people the other two um, have already been in contact with me via message uh, messaging um, and I'm hoping to, to put in a phone call before I go into the long weekend to touch base as well but as you can see I'm in my car very safely parked because I put on a high priority to reconnect with this person and to shuffle my day to make sure that I had some face-to-face -face time with this person and in about half an hour um, I'm actually hoping to have finished my errands in my car and just spend some non-screen really mindful time just being loved and loving someone so i'm just going to leave you there with my fourth r chat with you soon bye